Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a good day yesterday. All right, today is Tuesday, April 28th. This time I want you to think of a number sentence that has 28 in it, actually two, and it has 28 in it. It could be addition or subtraction. All right, I want to look over Monday's math answers. And remember that the math is on this paper. And here they are. If you want to pause and look over things, we put the numbers in order from, let me just double check, least to greatest, so the smallest to the biggest. And then on number three, we're talking about reading, um, Kale was reading some pages in a book, how many so far this week, and then had to read 147 more. Oops, this kind of got erased a little bit. That should be a four there, and pages and all. And then number four was comparing sports and hobbies total together with animals. And that there were, let's see, the question says, how many more books are there about sports and hobbies than there are about animals? Okay, and then number five is create your own two-step word problem in your notebook and have a family member solve it. Once again, here are your answers. And you can post those on Seesaw every day. So now for Tuesday, it says write a multiplication sentence for each and solve. So six groups of three. Think about how you would write a number sentence for that. And the other two are similar, just different numbers. Number four is a word problem, and so is number five. Um, it's great when you show those in your notebook, the work. And then once again, uh, you could do extra math or Redbird. All right, so that's the math for today. Once again, we'll look at our matrix. And here is Tuesday. It says write a prediction for Chapter 6, and that would be on the back side of your packet. Remember this packet here. And then... Follow along while I read chapter 6 or read on your own. This time it's really, really a long chapter, so I'm going to have you read that one on your own. And then what you do is you go in your packet to... Oops, chapter 5. I missed that yesterday. It's on the back side, too. Um, if you missed that yesterday, go ahead and do today's. Support the following statement with details from the text. Fudge's party, birthday party did not go well. And the title of the chapter is A Birthday Bash. What would you have titled the chapter if you were the author? This is a really good review of chapter five. Below, draw your favorite scene from the chapter just as you visualize or how you picture it in mind. And then for chapter six, I'm just going to reread this. You're going to do this chapter six questions here. Describe how Peter helps the dentist. Describe how Peter helps his mom at the shoe store. Choose the word that you think best describes Peter's mom. Is she patient, frustrated, or unfair? Then support your choice with two details from the reading from that chapter six. Let's see, I'm just double checking. Oh, the next one is chapter seven. All right, so that's what you'll be doing. You'll be reading the next chapter. As I said, it's, it's fairly long, so I thought I'd let you read this one on your own. And it's called number six, Fang Hits Town. It starts on page 55, and it goes all the way to 69. Chapter seven starts on 70. So just go ahead and read that on your own. Um, everyone should have their book. I made sure that they were all delivered to your homes uh, if you didn't have a chance to pick those up. So enjoy reading and we will talk some more tomorrow.